It should go without saying that there is no perfect fragrance for everyone. But I do believe that we all have the agency to figure out the perfect fragrances for us. Now, I don't believe any one person has one perfect fragrance because once you start smelling more and more, you realize that you have a capacity to like a lot of different types of fragrances. So I try to narrow this down into some very strict functions. I have five functions that I've chosen my perfect fragrance for, and I will explain why it is perfect for that function. These are not the only fragrances I wear for these functions, but these are ones that I have worn a lot for these particular scenarios in my life. Again, your scenarios will be treated differently as they should be. And at the end of the video, I'd love to know what fragrances work perfectly for you in each of these scenarios. Let's dive right into it. Our first scenario is casual, a great casual fragrance. And this is one that's new to my collection, but I've worn it a lot already. This summer, I've been finding it super easy to reach for on a hot day casually. Even if it's something I'll put on for a few hours and maybe shower it off, it works perfectly. I enjoy it the whole time it's on my skin. This is new from the House of Hermes, their newest release. This is Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre. Frozen water. Juniper berry with citron, some pepper in there, and definitely some vetiver. It's the original Terre d'Hermes DNA, which is that earthy, dry, woody vetiver, but it is made extremely bright and citrusy and bitter. Again, by way of that citron, which is a very dry citrus note, along with timber pepper, which gives it a grapefruit feel. A lot of juniper berry in there to give it a very sharp, cooling freshness. Ultimately, one of the coldest citrus openings, one of the most intoxicating citrus openings I've tried in a long time. This thing has really, really grown on me. The more I've worn it, it's perfect for this scenario for me because it has enough brightness to be very casual, but I can put it on and I can almost end up anywhere on a casual day and it will suit the situation. Whether I'm running errands, whether I'm you know meeting for lunch with a friend, whether I'm just hanging out with Grace, whether I'm just sitting around, it's gonna work for any casual scenario, at least what I found, or even like going for a hike or a walk or something like that. Again, that brightness really does help, especially during the summertime outside. Anyway, I am really enjoying this stuff. Let me know if you've tried this yet. Good stuff, Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre. Up next is my perfect fun night out fragrance. I cannot get enough of this stuff it is perfect for me, it captivates me, and I know it captivates others. If that is what I'm looking for in a fun night out, then this fragrance checks all those boxes. It is intoxicating, it is sweet, it is spicy and warm, it is herbal in a very unusual way. It's just sexy. I've talked about it a lot. Desert Toxic from Mika Lef. Good God, this stuff, I call it Layton's older, sexier, cousin. Not brother, it's not all that related, but it does have some similar accords coming together. Uses a bit of a fruitiness, uses a bit of a sweetness in there, uses some warm spices like I said, and it comes together in such a way that, again, there's something that is a little bit irresistible about this fragrance. It is just literally perfect for me. When I want to go out, when I want to maybe get some attention, but in a way that is a little bit unusual from the norm. And that's what's perfect for me. I'm trying to stand out a little bit more. And Desir Toxic helps me do that. Do get you a sample if you get a chance. I've been talking about it for a long time for a reason. Check it out if you haven't already. Up next is my perfect classy fragrance. This was kind of a hard one to choose, but I wanted to go with the one that every time I wear it, it affects me in a way it really enhances my feeling of classiness. I literally feel like an elevated version of myself with whatever attire I have on, I'm going into the room and I feel like I'm owning it. I'm owning my presence in the room. And this fragrance is such a standout because it smells like nothing else out there. I think it's kind of a masterpiece in a way, but again, just perfect for me. From Killian, we have Straight to Heaven. This is the original. I have not tried the extreme, but I find this stuff addictive, but so classy. It is earthy, very earthy and damp smelling with patchouli, a little bit of a dried fruity feel. So it's not overly juicy and sweet, just a little bit sweet. 
and fruity, but it's enveloped in that earthiness. And you have some rum in here, making it a little bit boozy. You do have some vanilla, again, adding a touch of a creamy, round sweetness in there. Ultimately, it smells a little bit strange. And it's definitely not for everyone, but when I dress it up at night, when I wear darker colors with this stuff, I feel, again, so freaking classy. Get you a sample if you can. I think DKNX might have it. Use the code STAYFRESH15, get you a sample. Straight to heaven, I have loved this ever since I first smelled it years ago. Finally got a bottle, courtesy of my friends at Joma Shop. They are the ones who sent me this bottle. So I'll have them linked down below as well. Anyway, that is Killian Straight to Heaven. My perfect professional fragrance. I've worn this one a lot this year. And I tend to wear it at times when I'm gonna be dressed a little bit nicer day or night, whether I am going to a gig, whether I'm going to dinner with Grace, whether I'm going to some kind of more business or upscale event where I do need to present in a professional manner. This one is one of my go-tos. And I wear it a lot, but it's mostly for those situations. From Roger Parfums, this is Oligarch. And this one is hard to find right now. It's discontinued technically at the moment. I have a feeling they'll bring it back at some point. They might rebrand it, but you won't find this particular one. This is the Eau de Parfum, which is been totally discontinued. The Parfum version, which I do have, is just as good. It's wonderful. It's a little bit rounder and richer, maybe more refined, a little bit quieter in terms of projection, but that is to be expected from a Parfum. It's still phenomenal. The DNA is here. This is fresh and fruity in a way, citrusy. It's woody. It's kind of green and medicinal in a slightly unusual way, but it works for the profile. It's actually kind of the defining factor of the profile, I can't really explain it. I think juniper berry plays a role. Definitely a lot of woods and so many things in this fragrance. Some apple plays a, a beautiful, sweet, fruity role. This one gets me a lot of positive attention as well. Again, when I wear it a little bit more professionally, it's perfect for me. Let me know if you've had a chance to try Oligarch before it was pulled and again, hopefully it'll be back. And my final fragrance, this one, I call this my perfect oddball. This is a fragrance that is a little strange. I find different times to wear it. This one in particular, I do wear a little bit more professionally, but I can also wear it casually too. I find it quite wearable, but it's also very unique and it's a little bit unusual. From Marc Antoine Barrois, this is Ganymede. It's weird, it's a strange scent. It's metallic and fresh. It smells a little bit like curry in a way because of Immortel. And there's some suede leather. As I say, it ultimately comes across like you've just stepped into a Bentley or a Mercedes, some kind of very nice leather interior of a luxury car, but weird. That's that Immortel that makes it a little bit strange. It's very mineral-like, cold, mineral, metallic, fresh, suede, and a little bit of a strange culinary feel in there that gives it an edge, gives it identity, but makes it perfect for me as a fragrance that sometimes I'll just wear it for myself when I wanna be a little bit more introspective, but I can find many other places to fit it in. I can wear it on a night out. I can wear it professionally. I can wear it casually. I can even wear it when I wanna be classy. It works for all of those for me. It may not work for you, so therefore, if you haven't tried it yet, do get you a sample first. I'm gonna link what I can down below. But let me know if you've tried Ganymede and if it's perfect in any way for you. Okay, so that's just a little bit of fun. I wanted to put this together and I had a ton of ideas with this perfect scenario. So I have other ideas I'd like to film, but I wanna know what you guys think. So if you like this video, let me know by liking the video and again, tell me down in the comments and I will maybe turn this into a little bit of a series with different realms, different groups of categories, and it can be expansive and it's a lot of fun. Just a, a way to share my favorites with you. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Peace, I'll see you in the next one.